Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Everybody understanding now, especially everybody on Nightcap and Club Shape J. Michael Jordan is to basketball what Cat Williams did on your channel. Yes. Right? He did it in a style, clever, charisma, funny, gave you the drama. He gave you such a big overall package that the field, they can't keep up. They're not going to keep up because one, him, who he is, how he moves is a whole different yes. entity. So when you come on here, you can give us the drama, but are you going to give us the charisma? Are you going to be clever? Are you, and that's who the Michael Jordan was to the world, how Cat is. So no matter who you got, that everybody, we're going to be judging it off the same yeah. one man. And that's, and that's why I say sometimes there comes a force in yeah. this world like him. that hasn't been seen before that does something that just says, oh, what is this? I remember when you said, I, I think this is going to go 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> This is going to go to the, uh, we're going to get about 2.5. And somebody said, yeah, yeah, you already got that right now. <laughs> I, 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 had, I, had, I had no idea. I don't think anybody thought. And I was like, I was talking to somebody uh, at the All-Star. I say, when when you saw Michael Jordan and you faced him in his rookie season, I think I was having a conversation with Dr. J. I said, did you mm -hmm. know? He said, no, I thought he was good. I thought he was very good. I thought he was going to be a great player. But nobody thought he was going to be that. Mm -hmm. And you didn't. And as great as, as Cat was, and I was hoping for 10 to 15 million views. That's what oh, you are, people don't, and I tell people this. I say, do you understand? There's not a whole lot of, there's not a whole lot of people sitting down having an interview, a conversation that's doing that number. Yeah, I had, I, no. uh, Steve, Steve Harvey ended up going over 11 million views. I got a couple at 6 million views. I say, but do you understand what 10, 15 million views is? I say, a, t a, a, a sitcom, they get 10, 15 million views will be on for 20 years if they got those numbers years. once a week. And so yes. you telling me that, I, no, I didn't know. No, the only person that knew that he could generate this was Cat because he told me. And he said, your life's going to change. You're going to be in a new realm, mm -hmm. a new stratosphere, and people are going to want to come on your podcast because you offer a safe space for people to tell their truth. But he said mm -hmm. they're going to come for you. And I was like, Cat, come on, Cat. I mean, I'm, I, I just, I just, you know, I guess they, I guess it's like uh, uh, somebody. Wrote, I guess I'm harboring a fugitive. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, he came to my house, but I, you, 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 you held him up. You helped him. A vain captain. So yeah. they're looking at me because he and Monique said what they said on my platform. They hold me culpable. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, I've done Johnny Manziel is my hundred and tenth. He's up right now. Johnny Manziel is the 110th mm -hmm. person, different person, because I haven't had any repeats yet. The 110th person that I've sat down with. They judge me on two podcasts. Yep. <laughs> now, I had DC Youngfly. I had Said Entertainer. I had Ricky Smiley. I had Michael Blackson. I had Steve Harvey. I had Country Wayne. I had Desi Banks. But it's two. I've had Magic Johnson. I've had Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. I had my brother. I had DeMar DeRozan. I had Lamar Odom. I had Steve Smith. It's two podcasts. Oh, I'm messy. So yeah. one less than 2% of the podcast that I've sat down with people, that's how you judge me. It, 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 it's funny because he knows he told you this was going to yeah. happen to let you know how powerful he know what he was holding in, right? He knew his greatness. He knew what he was giving you. He knew it. That's why he can call it out. Uh, They're going to come for you. There's only a few people that can beat that interview. And one is them telling on themselves, yeah. right? You got P. Diddy, right? If P. Diddy come out with a confessions, one, boom, right? 
And then you got the lady with the uh, sexual island, whatever the hell that shit was. And she starts telling on oh, yeah, the yeah. world. Those are the Makes, only two yeah. entities, right? That can come out and do some damage like that. But as the interviewer, when someone says, man, Shannon, I was like, oh, cause he's supposed to know, right? He, he, he got his answers. I said, Shannon has his playbook. Yeah. Came in with his own fucking so playbook. I, and my thing was, I was talking, I was talking to my, um, I was talking to someone. I said, so let me ask you this. Who that's in my space that do what I do would have told Cat Williams, nah, Cat, we're not going to, I don't want to, I don't want to interview Cat. I, I don't want to interview Monique. I don't want to hear whatever you said, we don't believe. And after he said, because at the end of the day, you might sit down with someone, but you don't have to air it mm -hmm. and would have said on that. I just want to know, Chat. How many people you think that do what I do from whomever, the Breakfast Club or whomever, let's just say there are 500 people that's in the space that I'm currently in, how many of them would have cut Cat off and not re and, and even if they do the interview and he said exactly what he said on mine, not release it? How many people that's in None. the space, uh, Monique has done 13 million views, about what I thought she would get. I remember her talking. I said, I believe she'll do somewhere between 10 and 15 million. If you do the breakout mm -hmm. clip, she's over 15 million. She's over 15 million. But I thought the, the entire episode would be somewhere between 10 and 15. So she's right there, smack dab, 13 million. Um, probably by the end of the year, she'd probably be at 15 million. So it'll do what I thought it would do. But when you look at all the people that's occupied the space that I occupy, I don't believe, I believe they're being disingenuous when they said, oh, he would, I wouldn't have let him do this, or I wouldn't have said that, or I wouldn't have even aired the clip. I don't believe it. They're, li they're lying because the problem is they, when you're interviewing someone, if I interview a football player right now, right, I only have certain information on the guy, right? So He's telling you his truth. You don't know what's a truth, what's a lie for you to even call him out on anything. And that's why I said, no matter who says something, zero people will not air that. Zero people is not going to air the, the Cat Williams or the Moniz because they don't know yes. what. You're just listening to the right. guy talking, boom, boom, boom. You don't know what to edit. You don't know because it's their right. story. They're telling their story. We're listening, right? The only people that know that some of this stuff is a lie is the people that's involved. Correct. Now, the people that's involved, they got to come and tell their side, right? Now, when Kat does it and then they start telling their sides, now we're back, we're sitting here right. doing this. You get to, you, and you get to believe, I don't try, and I didn't say, oh, oh, Kat, well, try to go dig even further. He said what he said, I move on. She said what she yeah. said, I move on. Now, the viewing audience, the listening audience, you decide, oh, I think he lying. That doesn't sound like something X, Y, Z would do. That doesn't sound like something X, Y, Z will say. Well, I don't believe that about knowing the person, the character that that person is. Okay, but that's not for me to decide. I had mm -hmm. no idea when I sat down with Cat Williams. Unfortunately, guys, I don't follow the comedy circuit that close. I don't. Mm -hmm. I just don't because I'm not going to talk about it. I follow things that I know I'm going to talk about. I'm going to follow things that make me money. Basketball, mm -hmm. football, <laughs> social issues. I follow stuff like that. I don't know mm -hmm. about who likes who, who cool with who, who stole this, who stole that. I don't know. And I would be sitting here mm -hmm. lying if I said I did. So when Cat came on, I knew who Cat Williams was. Hell, he used to live up in Gainesville. We had, he and I mm -hmm. having a conversation before. You know, he he moved, he left, he left the state of Georgia. He lives in a totally different state now. So I knew that, mm -hmm. but all this stuff he's telling me, I didn't know because I don't follow it like that. That ain't, that ain't, <laughs> hey, because that doesn't pay me money. Somebody want to tell me who my favorite, I can tell you who my favorite comedians are and who I mm -hmm. listen to and who I would pay my money to go see. But all this other stuff that he was talking about, I ain't know. I didn't. And was a funny and I'm watching it from I'm watching it from the standpoint of a host. And I'm saying, all right, what would I have cut out? Right. And I'm sitting here like, nothing. What am I cutting out? Right. Right? If if you know Cedric the entertainer said this and I allowed it, 
then I have to give him a chance to respond. Steve Harvey, a chance to respond. So these guys, I have, I have to give him a chance to respond on the things that were said about him. So there's really nothing I can cut out without doing him any disjustice because the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to erase something and then he calls you like, Yo, why you exactly. take this out? Because everybody say, well, he edited that out. That's not what he said. So most of the time, 98% of the time, 99% of the time, the interviews ran in its entirety. Yep. Unless they say something that jeopardizes the interview yes, itself. Yes, yes. I'm yeah. I'm not gonna like like if I if he called, like I said, if he said something, like I said, I didn't think he said anything, but like if he makes some anti-Semitic statement or something that I think is gonna not only damage him but damage me also, I yeah. I, I can't put that out. And there, you know, so yeah. for me, they're like, well, Shelly, I like bro, y'all actually. Y'all got too much time on y'all hands. Because Shannon, Shannon got five <laughs> jobs. And Shannon, and, and mm -hmm. Shannon is, is like researching, trying to get ready for first take, trying to get ready for nightcap, trying to do the best deep dive I can, CJ and I, on guests on Club Shay Shay. But I don't follow it that close. I don't know they got beat. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Stuff that I'm, I'm talking about mm -hmm. football and basketball on a daily basis. And occasionally there was a time, what, during the pandemic that we had uh, uh, the, the social issues and we had to call it Kaepernick. So, okay, now I've got to spend a lot of my time, okay, talking about that, dealing with that, researching that, going back to history and understanding the flag and understanding the blacks and the flag and understanding what the flag represents. And that's what I said. And people got mad. I said, the flag doesn't represent everything to everybody. It might mean something to him, but some, something totally mm -hmm. different to him. And so because it means that to you, that doesn't mean that you. it has to mean that to me. And so I'm researching and, and studying and understanding the history of that. But this cat thing is like, bro, I didn't expect it to get. I mean, it's about to hit 60, 60 million views. 60. And what it was about? And was it, are you at about 300, 300 altogether, all the impressions and everything? Oh, uh, uh, 300, uh, a million? No, 300 million. Oh, over. All the impressions over. and all, like, I know over, you're. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was. It, it, that's like the all star numbers, right? It's yeah. it, it's some of the six million just for that, but overall, I mean, is when that, you look at, um, let me see. I think I think he's done like one point five million likes or something, which is crazy. Mm. Let me see what cat. The, the the biggest problem was um uh, is you, complex ranked you number one that wrote <laughs> and. And you stamped it, goddamn it, down. <laughs> you see, many you put the goddamn Jordan ones in everybody's face right after, so everybody know, goddamn it, Shannon's number one next year too, it, goddamn it, and that's just it the way got it is. One point five million likes, two hundred and two thousand comments, which is crazy. And I think the thing is, but it's look, you lose your job in June. And in November, December, you rank number one sports personality. <laughs> and then you start to, and I, but I told you, I said, I'm coming. I said, look, mm -hmm. and I think the thing is, is that because I was talking to a good friend of mine tonight. And I said, I think the thing is what happened is that when I was down and I bounced back, not only did I bounce back quick, I bounced up so high. So he had Ooh. to have done something. He had to have sold yeah. his soul. He had to have sold out his people, even though nobody can tell you what I sold it or who I sold out. <laughs> but I sold out my community, and that's what. That, and, and and I was like, man, they they man they they mad at they 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 mad at me. They they upset at me. Uh no, they upset. It's me that I got the cat interview because I don't believe it with sixty million views, and they know if you're in this space, they know what sixty million views does. They know yeah. the 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 uh, the monetary because people have done people have done things trying to say well well if he does this much CPMs and he gets this much RPMs and he gets this many downloads and he gets this many this and he gets many that they're like hold on yeah. you 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 are you are during COVID Amazon right now yeah right you are you are Amazon right now for 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 content. Right. If anybody want to get something out and they know it's going to go boom, they come into you. If Kevin Hart wants to talk, you got to come to you. If you are you, you are that dude, right? And that what the problem is. You got to remember for for the most part, 
everyone's haters. Right? No one knows how to compete and say, well, well, hey, I'm trying to keep up with him. I'm 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 following his drift. Right. Right. And so like, it's like I'm trying to we're trying to take each other off the road yeah. and right. And that's the same thing. Yeah, like, fun. well, you know, Gil wants to put this I on can't. his channel. And now that you I said, I don't care. I said, I want Gil to succeed. I read. Make sure y'all subscribe to Gil, not only to his pie, his YouTube channel, subscribe to his personal page. I want to see Gil win because I saw in mm -hmm. the pandemic the US government print money. So I know they got a lot of it. If they run out of it, they'll print more. So I'm not going to try. I'm not going to get in the way of Gil's making money. If I can help Gil make money, I'm going to help Gil make money. And if somebody comes along and they're better than me and they do better job than me and they get more sponsors and advertisers and make more money, that's okay. Because at some point in time, I pass somebody up. And I know eventually somebody's going to pass me up. But that's not going to stop me from doing great content. I don't expect in my lifetime to ever do another interview like this. And that's okay. This is my thriller. I got thriller. Bad was not a bad album. Off the Wall was, yep. I believe Off the Wall was his greatest album, even though it didn't have the commercial mm -hmm. success as Thriller did. I think I've done some mm -hmm. great interviews. The Steve Harvey, all I, I think for the most part, all the interviews that I've done have been very good. It's great. I mean, I got 24 interviews with at least 2 million. At least two yeah. million views. That's just the full episode, not counting the breakout clips. So to make it seem like all of a sudden I just burst on the scene, Club Shay Shay is about to be four years old in September. And I've yeah. been doing this, and I got 110 episodes. I think the Johnny Manziel interview is going to be is great. But if you don't think I can interview people, go back and look at some of my work at CBS when that's what was required. Mm -hmm that that was their platform and I got to go out and I got to like, okay, you say this. Well, I got to say where well, I got the stats to say that because that was, that was a different, that was a different uh, uh, genre. That was a, that was an interview. I'm having a conversation, bro. I ain't asking nobody where you People. from sitting down with, with Tony Romo <laughs> or, or Matthew Stafford mm -hmm. or somebody like that. I ain't, uh, when I sat down with Gates, I ain't, where, where you from? Come on. Like, like you, you see me when I ring number seven, I'm, I'm happy. What? Right. Um, because when, if you're a real competitor, right, you're looking at what people, what makes people yes. great. You're not sitting there saying why nope. them, right? Because, because asking the question of why them, you already lost. You said it, you got five jobs, right? You, you're like a Jamaican in this, in this industry, right? That's why he has yes. five jobs some point doing what he does something's going to yes. hit right like i love the um the country yes. wayne country wayne said something and i thought of you i even hit him in a dm he said um he was talking about he spends about 250,000 uh, a month on content do about 300 videos and he says he don't print money he prints content right the phone's in my pocket and i'm listening to it and I said, wait, what did he just say? I had to rewind. I don't print money, I print content. And I said, before I even think about what, I hit him, what did you mean by this? And he broke it down to me. And I said, God damn yes. it, I'm in. I'm in, I, I, I gotta get my content game yes. on. That's what, that's what, and the thing because is, girl, they don't see, okay, I was in Indy last week. I couldn't fly back to LA, I flew back to Atlanta. Because guess what? I'm back in India again. Now I fly back to LA, mm -hmm. but I got to turn around and come back to Jersey. Now I can't go all the way back to LA. Got to stop in Atlanta because I got to go to Dallas. And then I fly to then I fly from Dallas to LA. And then guess what? A week later, I got to be in Colorado. And then a week after that, I got to fly back to Georgia. So that's what you see. You mm -hmm. judging me for where I am, but you don't know where I've been, and you don't know where I'm hey. going. And I don't make, I don't make, I don't, you know, and my sister always tells me, say, Shannon, don't burn yourself out. Shannon, you're going, you're going at a breakneck speed. I said, Libby, I asked the man above to give me this. I'm mm -hmm. prepared for this. I'm prepared for this moment. I've always felt I could do it, but I just needed mm -hmm. somebody to give me the opportunity. Okay. I created a space. I got people to come with me. Ash, the first two people I hired for my company, Shay Shay Media, was CJ Christian Deer. And Ash let me. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no job. Ash called me, say, Shannon, you got a job? Nope. 
She said, but I'm still going with you. <laughs> CJ, yeah. hey, Shannon, what you going to do? I said, CJ, I don't know what I'm going to do. But whatever it is, mm -hmm. I want you to be a part of it. He said, Shannon, we created something special. I want to be a part of it moving forward. Just let me know what you're going to do. I'm paying them out my pocket. Until I got, until, hey, talking to a different people, you know, talking to Colin Cowherd, talking to this group, talking to that group. But I know Colin a little bit, and I trust Jamie Horowitz because he hired me at the volume. Yep. See, this mm -hmm. is what I believe I can do. We ain't got nightcap yet. Start talking about nightcap. Yep. Jamie and I, we sit around, coming back. Who you want? I said, I think Ocho Cinco. He's like, huh? He's not doing TV. I said, but I, 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 I said, I need somebody <laughs> that was really good at football but doesn't take himself too serious. He can joke and he yeah. can take a joke. I say, that's mm -hmm. what you need. That's what you need. I say, because we're not going to get a chance, a second chance to get people to tune in. We're not. So we got to mm -hmm. grab them. Yep. That's what we did. And so that's what I've done. And instead of, you know, but but I, I, I get it. I didn't, I didn't see it at first. But now after, you know, having something to say to Mike and having something to say to a few people, and I look at other people, they're creating content off of what I said. I said, well, I might as well just yeah. keep the content for myself and put it up on my own damn page and monetize it. Y'all monetize, y'all ain't doing no work. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing no work. You, you know, you know what you, you know what you are right now, up? And this is why you gotta you gotta step back too. They don't know your work ethic but they're judging you from a lens that is not even close to them. Now you see why someone like Kevin Durant and him would be defending himself on right. burner accounts. Because if you call, if you say something about Kevin, right? Kevin's probably watching right oh, for now. Sure. Cause that's what he does. if he ain't watching, he's practicing. If he ain't practicing, he's watching. He's watching his phone. He's watching the two. He's watching game tape. So when you, when someone comes at you and you you defend yourself, and people's like, "Yo, why is Shannon defending himself?" He's not defending himself in the sense of his integrity. He's defending his work ethic. He's defending everything he's put into it and you making it seem like it's easy. You making it seem like what he does is just, he wakes up and gets to do this. You just said your next damn three weeks. And I'm sitting here like, shit, that's like seven flights, eight yeah. flights, that's hotel hotel room. You're moving faster than the, the, the NBA team right now. And I still got to do it first take and I still got to do night camp and I still got to, I'm home for two days and I got two sit downs yeah, and on Tuesday and Wednesday, then I'm out. Back to Jersey. They don't, but that's what they don't see. So when they throw the shots at you, you defending your work ethic, right? Yeah, you can talk about the interview and talk about me personally. Don't try to pretend what I'm doing and I'm not putting that at work. You sitting behind your computer just taking jabs at me and I'm sitting here flying across the country doing my goddamn job. And that's how some of the athletes feel when, when people come at it. It's more of like... I had to, nobody wanted me. I had to build a studio. This studio right here was built to do interviews. When I was thinking about interviewing, I was like, yeah, when I do interviews and somebody wants me in an interview, I want to set. I don't want to sit there and do my phone and do this. You know, I want to set to make it look professional so they can take me right. seriously, right? I wake up today, 3.30, to look at the what's in it, because like, we got the one, we got the, the 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 anniversary of the year. I'm up 3.30 taking notes. Like, so, all right, be on point. Let me go ahead, search this, search that, because I know what it takes, because I watch greatness do what greatness does. Right? And 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 I I think that's what some people don't admire. They're like, yeah, man, you throw shots at Stephen A., you throw shots at this. I said, that's just competitiveness. Yeah. That has not what what they the, the reason I, I pay attention to everything like Ocho when you said Ocho Cinco I was like the one person that that should be sitting on uh, social media all day is Ocho he just has that personality back from 2010 11 he was just funny as hell and I was like yo he's a social media darling right Jamie didn't understand that yes. you did right somebody else who's 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 sitting there who can grab numbers is Marshawn Lynch, 
right? I look at it from the standpoint the same way you look at it. Like, who's great combos? Is, you know, because sometimes everybody doesn't no. see it. You know, so like you and Ocho, I'd I be sitting there dying laughing. It's like, these are, he makes you yeah. feel young. And that's the thing. Like, he makes smile like even when i'm watching it i just automatically just cheese because <laughs> and, and people think it's easy i mean if it's easy everybody could do it people don't realize i right. worked on getting cat for over a year a year i started Damn. reaching out to cat back in 2022 yeah maybe i think yeah i don't know probably yeah we see i don't like to really do i don't like to do sit down you heard him say it i don't do these start off yeah and to get him to sit down and to get him to feel comfortable enough to open up, uh, Monique, to get her to feel, talk to Monique. She's like, she's like, baby, uh, I'm going to need to talk to you. You're going to need, hey, you put me on speakerphone. <laughs> I talked to her and her husband. Mo, I ain't going to put you in a bad spot. This is your opportunity. Mm -hmm. You come on here. You speak. I, I'm not going to interrupt you. You tell your truth. That's it. You got a team. I brought a team out. First, hey, mm -hmm. whatever you need, hey. She's like, Shannon, I got to make up. I got this. I got this. I'm going to need these people to try. No problem. Mm -hmm. Are these the people that normally travel with you? Boom, boom, boom. Got to take care of them. Do you need a place to stay? Yeah. We got all that taken care mm -hmm. of. She said, no, baby. I, I, I'm coming in. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get back on the flight. Okay. Whatever you need. Do we have need to have anything? Do we need to have food catered? No, that's, hey, we good. Uh, I'm very respectful. I talk a lot of times. I talk to the guests. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. what are you are you pitching anything? You have a movie. You got a book. You have mm -hmm. something coming out. Something you want to promote. I believe everybody should benefit from coming on Club Shay Shay. Not just Shannon. I believe you should benefit mm -hmm. if you got something you want to promote. I got almost three million subs. It's going to be seen by a lot of different people. By the time I put it up on YouTube, by the time I put it up on IG, I put it up on Twitter, I put it on my Facebook, we chop it up, put it on TikTok. A lot of eyes gonna see this. So I want and everybody, then, I want everybody. I look at it, you come into my house and I prepare the table. And I want everybody to feast. And that's and that and that's why everybody mad because you are giving out a one red carpet service. And you force everybody to step their damn game yeah. up when they wasn't ready to, right? You 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 talking about you, you you flying everybody out? You doing it? They they can't do this. They can't do it. So so what ends up happening is, are oh, we mad that you, you done raised the price and <laughs> you you done got LeBron James? You done got all these people in your arena? Ticket prices mm -hmm. go up, and that's what you did on people's podcasts, right? You put the price of red carpet event yeah. now. Right. So there's, a, <laughs> you know, so if I want the club Shay Shay experience, God damn it, I got to go to club yeah, Shay Shay. Sure. I can tell you this, no chill Gill ain't giving you none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I don't, I don't, I'm not, you don't come on my, I don't, I don't judge. I, people are like, well, you asked, I, you asked a, a, a Brittany Renner. I said, I didn't ask Brittany Renner anything. She volunteered and said that. She and I had a great conversation mm -hmm. before. I talked to her. I said, Brittany, I'm not trying to put you in no bad spot. She's like, I'm an open book. She said, Shannon, I ain't got anything to hide. I've done what I've done. And I'm I'm who I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you need from me. She's like, I'm gonna be out, I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna be out here in LA at this certain time. I say, okay, this is the time that I normally shoot. I can move it up or back, you know, 30 minutes. I was given to accommodate you. I'm accommodating the guests. That's why I try to I try to do my I try to do my tapings, uh, uh Gil, on Thursdays and Fridays. Because I'm work out, I, okay. I got Sunday night nightcap. I got uh, first take. Then I got nightcap again. I got first take. And so what I'm trying to do is like, okay, I don't really have anything. And then, you know, Wednesday, I got nightcap with you. I'm going to have Thursday again. But okay, I can do. So I'm trying to do everything. Guess say, Shannon, I can only shoot Monday. Okay. Chris Brown says, hey, uh, I, I'm, I love, I want to sit down with you, uh. Man, he said, I appreciate the support that you're giving me, but um, I can only do it Friday at 8 o'clock at my house. Mm -hmm. I'm there. T.I. said, hey, yep. hey, um, hey, bro, I, 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 hey, you know I want to sit down with a Georgia homie, but I can only do Saturday at, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. There ain't a, there's not a time 
that a guest can say, Shannon, mm-hmm. I can sit down, in which I will not have that team ready. So ain't no off day. Okay. If you work with Club Shay Shay or you work with Nightcap, there is no day off. Because I call you on, yeah. you on call like a doctor. It's that. <laughs> Code A, hey, you on call. I call, it might be a Thursday. If I call, if I call this team and say, hey, we got an interview tomorrow at two, I guarantee you that thing gonna be lined up. When that guest come in, he gonna get mic'd up or he gonna get mic'd up and we ready to go. That's how we operate. If you don't want to operate on doctor's rules, doctor's code, on 24 hour notice, hey, Shay Shay Media ain't the place for you. It's really that simple. There's only one way we're gonna do things. This is my way right here. And everybody knows that. I got Ash, Ash, hey, she's on calls all the time. She's hitting me up. Shannon, what do you think about this? Shannon, what do you think about that? A lot of stuff she just handles like he's not gonna do that. He don't want to do any of that. No, he's gonna be mad if y'all do this. But that's the way we operate, Grill. We are a well-oiled machine. Well oiled. And I said, look, this is what look, this, this my team, immediate team, this is where we're gonna take our vacation. Now, if you need to take a vacation before that, you're probably gonna come back and ain't gonna have a job. Ooh. So this is the way we're going to do it. Now, you want in? I'm going to pay you a great salary. A great salary. I'm talking about great. Jordan, you're going to get a great salary. You're going to fly. You're going to, hey, you're going to stay at a great hotel. You're going to get everything comp, but I'm going to need you X, Y, and Z. You want to work out? He loves working out. Don't let work out get in the way of what we got to do now. If you got to take your ass at midnight and go work out, go work out at midnight. But don't you miss nothing. Man, you, man, uh, man I, I, I damn near want a job. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I hope everybody, I hope everybody is taking notes because you, 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 you asking the question, why is someone successful? And he's telling you exactly why. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here like, okay, so look, I need to get, I need to get my shit together, right? Because you know, there, there's levels, there's steps yeah. to this, right? You know, and and having a solid team, you know, is yeah. step one. Having one that really believes in the brand is step one. And from there, you know, just putting heads together. But you know, I'm I'm always in awe of listening to, you know, why you're at the top, right? We can all sit here and guess and stuff, but there is a machine. Oh, we and work. The machine is you. Oh, we work. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, we work. It's you. Oh, oh, Gail. It ain't no ifs and a buts about it. And people like, you know, and I'm like, hey, well, yeah, we think this is a guy. I say, well, okay, what's his work ethic? Nah, I said, well, it ain't gonna work. Mm-hmm. And it's not gonna work. I mean, you come up in this thing, we working, we work, because people say people like, I, well, I want this, this, and this, but are you willing to work for it? Are you willing to pay the price that it takes to be successful? I am. Mm-hmm. I know what it takes to be successful. I've been successful at damn near everything that I've done. But mm-hmm. there's a price to be paid for that. There's a work ethic that needs to go in. There's a study habit. And hey, I ain't got no problem with working because I worked harder mm-hmm. for less. So if I can work yeah. and I work harder for other people, I said, so if I can work that hard and I'm getting a check, now I like this marketplace because I can create, there ain't no, ain't, ain't no salary cap on this. Hell, I can right? make as much money as, as the content, if I produce great content and people like my content, there ain't no telling how much I can make. But I love mm. that aspect of it. Yes. I love putting it on me because I don't have the luxury of having somebody that's going to cut me a check. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we going to eat. We going to eat, <laughs> but we going to work. You eat what you kill, though, Gil. That, that's the simple plot. You eat what you kill. Yeah. 